everyone! Welcome back to Kidding Around. My name is Melanie Smith and I think it's fabulous that you are here with me today for another fun film Friday. Today we will be talking about the movie Snow Buddies and we'll also get to make some snow buddies, well balloon buddies, of our own. Before we do that though, if you like what you're seeing here and want to follow along with all of Kidding Around's videos, Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also, if you're really enjoying what you're doing here, please share us with your friends. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's talk about the movie Snow Buddies. Do you know it? Well, this movie is a great movie, and it follows five dogs who end up in Alaska. While they are there, they become friends with a local dog, and they also meet a boy who is in need of five dogs to pull a sled for a sled race. So I thought it would be very fun to make our own Snow Buddy sled dog team today out of balloons. We can also make the sled out of popsicle sticks and candy canes. So to do these two crafts, you will need a few materials. You will need some balloon animal balloons and a pump. You really need the pump because these balloons are almost impossible to blow up just by putting them in your mouth and blowing. I have a link to these two items below this video. For the sled, you will also need at least six popsicle sticks. Uh, you'll need two candy canes, a pair of scissors, and some yarn or some ribbon to make the thing that the dogs pull from the sled. And then you will also need some hot glue. You can use white glue. White glue will work. It will be a little bit harder, but I really recommend with a grown-up supervision using hot glue for this one. All right, so let's get started. All right, are you ready to make your sled dog team? Okay, so you and I are going to make one dog together, and then you will be able to make as many dogs as you would like for your sled dog team. So let's get started on this first one. So the way to do it is to put the balloon over your balloon pump. Just put the pump, whoops, right there in that opening. I'm trying to get it so it's not sliding, the balloon isn't sliding around itself. Well, I'll just go with that. All right, and then I will take my hand and with my thumb and forefinger, I'm going to hold the balloon on the pump and then I'm going to wrap these last three fingers of that hand around the front of the pump. Then I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to start pumping from the back. So there we go, and I am going to then pump till my balloon is about, is almost completely inflated, but it has about an inch that is uninflated, just like that, and then I will tie it off. I have to tell you, I find the tying off part, here I'll show you, I find the tying off part the hardest of this entire project, so you can definitely ask a grown-up for some help with this. Now, I have tied it off once, but I kind of got the, the, the tip of the balloon stuck in my tie, so I am going to tie it one more time just to make sure that that doesn't come undone. All right, so there we go. Once I have it tied, it's now time to begin making my dog. So I am going to move my hot glue gun right now because it is hot, and I don't want it to pop my balloon if I accidentally touch it. Okay, so I'm going to take um, about a two or three inch section and I'm going to squeeze my balloon just a little and then I am going to twist that section. You will notice as we go through this that it is very squeaky, so I'm going to try not to talk during the squeaks because I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. But beware, it will be squeaky when you do it too. All right, so this now is the nose of my dog and now I'm going to make these two little ears. So I'm going to come down about an inch past my twist. And I should mention, you need to hold this twist. You won't need to hold it the entire time. But right now, it's twisted, but if I let go, it's untwisted. So I am going to twist it again and then hold it tight. All right, I've got that. Now I'm going to make a twist about an inch down from that first twist. Whoops, and guess what? my very first twist came untwisted. So I'm going to start again. And you know what, if this happens to you, this is what you do too. Just keep trying. All right, there's my first twist. And there's my second twist. 
Now I need to make a second ear. So I am going to, holding these two twists, which is a little bit complicated, but if you practice, you'll definitely get the hang of it. I am going to now twist about an inch down again to make something that matches this first little bobble, okay? Here we go. All right, so now I have my two ears and my dog nose. So I am going to fold these together and now I am going to twist these two pieces this way so that it locks in to make the head of this dog. All right, just like this. And there we go. I now have my dog head. Okay, so now I'm going to make the neck of my dog and I'm going to make one twist. That's about, what, two or three inches down, you see? And I'm twisting. This balloon is really curly, so I'm really having to move out of its way. Hopefully yours will be a little straighter. Okay, so now I'm going to make the front legs of my dog, and I'm going to do it a lot in the same way that I did these two little ear parts. So I need to, again, hold this twist, and now I'm going to make the leg length. So I'm gonna probably do it two or three inches again and I am twisting just like that. So this will eventually become the front leg. All right, now I could do, just like I did with the ears, another twist here and then twist it back together, but that gets a little bit hard as these segments get longer. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fold this up just like this, and I'm going to twist the new leg and twist it together all at once. So now, I am going to hold it like this, and I am right where this twist is, going to twist again. All right, and there we go. I have my dog and his two front legs. Do you see that? Okay, so now I have the body to make, so I'm going to make a twist, I don't know, four inches down past my legs. There we go. And again, I'm going to hold this twist and now I'm going to make these back legs the same way that I did these two front legs. All right, so I'm going to twist one leg. Wow, I'm just knocking everything off, but that's all right, we're gonna keep going. All right, and now I have my leg and I folded the rest of the balloon back and now I am going to twist right here together to make my back two legs. and I adjust a little bit, and now I have my two back legs, and the rest becomes the tail. You will maybe need to practice a little bit. You know what, you might even pop a balloon or two, but I am confident that if you keep practicing, that you will have dogs in no time. Just remember to make sure that you leave a little bit of space as you're blowing up your balloon. Remember we left that like inch up here at the top? You can see now with all of the twists that we no longer have that inch. We gave it some extra room to expand into the tail. So make sure that you leave that inch before you get going on your dog. All right, so now my orange dog is going to join the red and the yellow and the green dogs and I'm having some static cling problems. So let's see if I can do it that way. There we go. All right, well, I think now they are looking for a sled to pull. So let's move on to our dog sled. All right, so I'm going to put my hot glue gun back up. I'll get my balloon out of the way. That one was an extra one in case I popped that one because sometimes that happens, but that's okay. I would have just made another one, right? Okay, but let's move on to our sled. So I am going to take my popsicle sticks and I am going to lay five out on my table. I like the look of a pointed sled, you know, it's pointed kind of in front. So I am going to lay out my popsicle sticks so that they look like they are kind of, they have a triangle in the front like that. All right, then, I am going to take a popsicle stick. So I laid out five. I don't remember if I said there were five there. So, but I laid out five. And then I'm going to take a popsicle stick and I am going to cut it in half. Now the problem with cutting popsicle sticks is that sometimes they want to fly after you cut them. So be aware of that. So now I have two halves 
I have a little um, a little rounded tip that I want to just be straight, so I am just going to snip off those rounded tips on my two ends. And then I am going to take my hot glue gun. I'm going to very carefully put some glue on the stick that I have just cut, and then I am going to lay it down just like that in the front of the sled. This will keep all of my popsicle sticks together. You can use white glue for this. It'll take 15 to 20 minutes to dry, so just prepare for that if you plan to use white glue. Then I'm going to take my other stick that I just cut. I'm going to very carefully put a bead of glue on it, and then I am going to put that down on my five popsicle sticks as well. Just like that. The nice thing about hot glue is it glue is it dries pretty quickly, but you do want to be very careful to keep your fingers out of the way of the hot glue because obviously it can burn. So make sure that you've got a grown up around you if you're doing this uh, with hot glue. All right, now I have my completed sledding board. So now I am going to put my candy canes on. To do that, I am just simply going to run a line of hot glue, again very carefully, along the flat part of the candy cane, and then I will just lay those popsicle sticks right in that layer of glue. I'll hold it for a couple seconds just to make sure that it's bonded, and then I'm going to do that on the other candy cane as well. So I just run my glue along here. And then I gently lay the popsicle sticks right in that glue on top of my candy cane. And look, I have a sled that is ready to be pulled. Okay, then I am going to take my ribbon or my yarn, this is twine, and I am going to cut some off, and then I am just going to simply tie it around the edges of the candy cane. So the way that I do that is I make a loop and I put the end through my loop and then before I tighten it I slide it over the candy cane and then when I have it where I want it I tighten it and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side I make a loop I put the end through and then I slide it on the candy cane and I tighten it you can also double knot these if you want to be sure that they won't accidentally pull off. I'm going to double knot this one. I'm working a little bit upside down for me at least for this, so that makes it a little bit more awkward. But anyway, then I am going to cut off my ends, and I have a sled now that can be pulled whoops, by one of my sled dogs. Of course, you can have as many pulling your sled as you would like, but I think that makes a very fun visual. I would love to see your sled dogs and your sleds. Please ask a grown-up to take pictures of those and put those on our Facebook site. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this activity. I hope that you will enjoy this movie. I am positive that you will, truly. Please make sure to follow along with us on our YouTube channel. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest as well. And until we meet again, which will be next Tuesday for a Test Tube Tuesday lesson, thanks so much for joining me. I will see you next time.